think I'm going insane. What? I think this tiny house is making me go insane, and I think the beer will help. Oh, God. <sighs> Nothing like the smell of a house. Hi, I'm Garrett. And I'm Nikki. And we're fascinated by how other people live. So we're gonna try and find some really interesting living situations. And live there, experiencing a totally new lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Thing is, Nikki and I don't actually really know each other. <laughs> Not at all. When do you shower? When do you wake up? When do you go to bed? <laughs> but we're gonna live with each other. As almost complete strangers. In an actual complete stranger's house. This week, we're gonna be living in a tiny house. Ta-da! Hey! Hey, Garrett. Nick. Nice to meet you. Great Hi, to meet you. Nikki. Nice to meet Welcome. you. Thank Thanks you. Thank so you so much. much for having us. This is a beautiful part of the country. The tiny house was built in April 2016. What attracted me was the, the nice wood sidings and something that would blend in with our terrain, which is very country. The deck is basically the same size footprint as the entire house. Oh, so really? It, it allowed us to have kind of doubled the space. When you have these doors open, these windows open, you don't feel so claustrophobic. No, that's what I was going to say. Like, for such a small space, it feels so open. Yeah. And the vaulted ceiling helps a lot. Like, I'm six foot seven, and I do not feel cramped yeah. in here. Okay, that's great. How yeah. big is it? Eight by 20, so it's 160 square feet. Okay. The loft, it could be taller. Yeah. <laughs> in 2003, we had a, uh, a big fire in San Diego. In a matter of minutes, uh, we went from having a nice home to literally nothing. People around us that didn't lose anything kept looking at themselves of what would happen if I lost my things. Really not that big of a deal. Matter of fact, I felt liberated. It's got everything in it, all the plates and anything you could possibly need. You know, bottle opener, that's really all you. That, yeah, really the church key and the. It's a very good use of space. Yeah, that's, I guess you sort of have to, huh? Every little corner you have to find a use for. A lot of people live in places of this square footage. This is, you know, 160 square feet. It's not a lot of space. And this way, it gave people an idea of what they did need and what they didn't need. All right, okay, thanks guys, so much, Nick. Time, Nick. Thank you. Oh, okay, great, thank you. Here we go. Okay. I call top bunk. I think I am a good roommate. I keep pretty clean, I'm pretty quiet, I like to keep to myself. The only thing is that I'm very big. I don't know how you would <laughs> sit up in here. Oh man, yeah, my head is <laughs> right there. So I have lived with roommates on several occasions, but never more than a year <laughs> because I didn't like it. Fine, only one of us needs a privacy curtain and then we're private from the other person. <laughs> Where is Garrett from? Um. She mentioned that her parents live in Washington. Something in the Midwest, like Chicago. That feels right, right? I don't even know what part of town Nikki lives in. Garrett feels like the kind of guy who would like live in a big house with like a bunch of dudes. Probably, maybe a lady. I'm gonna say Nikki lives in a two bedroom apartment with a roommate. So I imagine every living situation for him is too small because he's huge. That I do know. <laughs> you would not be able to have sex up here, I don't. No, I don't see how two people could possibly have sex up here. Especially if one were gay. Only one? I'm Only gay. one is gay? Oh, well, you're talking no, about if they're us. opposite genders. Oh, I'm not even talking about us having sex. I'm talking about people. I know, that's what I'm that's, saying. We're trying this to see like, how oh, it's like see? for us to live up here. It's impossible. I'm really excited to see what it's actually like to try to live in a tiny house and not be able to like escape. But again, I'm doing this with a practical stranger that I work with. So ideal scenario, I don't know. I'm just always excited to see how other people live. Oh man, we're really gonna get to know each other, aren't we? We're here for two nights. We've just moved in. Should we have like house rules? Try and keep your shit. Pretty tidy. I keep my stuff pretty tidy. Also, I've like never lived with a boy before. You haven't? Mm. Are you comfortable with that? I'm bored. What? <laughs> You're probably going to be the second girl that I've ever lived with and never hooked up with. Gross. Oh, also, my fiance made cookies. So we have cookies. Your what? I had no idea Nikki was engaged. They're really good cookies. Have you had them? I have. What are we gonna do tonight? We should get some booze. I don't drink. You don't drink? I don't drink. What? Okay, so we have like no space in here, right? We don't have space for this fucking pine cone. It's decorative. We, like, I think that's rule number one. 
in a tiny house. <laughs> no decorations. No fucking decorations. Like even the fact that these horse heads are here, they look very nice. Those should be extra pots. <laughs> look at you, you're starting to think like a tiny house, man. The tiny house has been kind of neat. I mean, it's so small, like I'm staring at Nikki's bed right now. I'm above our kitchen and bathroom. As much as Nick said he thinks like a family of four could live in here, that's insane. Like one person in this tiny home can't do something without the other person knowing. A lot of forced intimacy and it's a lot of forced time together. So far, living with Nikki has been good. She seems like a hard person to impress. Garrett seems to fine so far. Like he seems like a pretty chill person. I basically had a full-time job of playing volleyball and like got to meet the president because of it. And Wait, like... what? You met Barack Obama? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, when you this win a national championship, you, you get to meet the president. I'm getting to know Nikki a little bit better. Well, so like I'm like a film school dropout. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just one of those people who just didn't do well in college, you know? Okay. I like super didn't fit in. But I'm getting a better sense of who she is, and she's a cool person. There's a bug in here. Day one, in the books. This is a pretty weird little hovel I got up here. You okay? It really feels kind of like a coffin. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night, bash my head on the ceiling, and get, knock myself unconscious. Good night, Nikki. Night, Garrett. Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's the morning after day one, and last night I think went pretty well. I came outside to give her privacy, because there's really no other place to go <laughs> to give her privacy. Last night I realized I forgot to bring toothpaste, so I've been using Garrett. But I mean, like roommates, right? That's what you do. Are you gonna fit in that shower? Depending on how high the tub is. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. It's certainly tiny. He's just like showering, like right there. Oh my god, how am I gonna? I feel like I'm gonna get shampoo on the ceiling. Oh my god. I don't have any clothes. Why? I, they're all upstairs in my little hovel. How are you gonna climb the stairs like that? Just, it's fine, look. Oh, I stand this way. I know, but you could have brought your clothes into the bathroom. That's what I did. I'm learning. <laughs> you know, I feel like you really do like sacrifice comfort to live in this space, don't you think? Yeah, I'm starting to get that feeling. Do you cook? I make the world's best scrambled eggs. What? Yeah. Scrambled Who's eggs. Who's told you that? I've told it to me, and then every time I've said to somebody, I make the world's greatest scrambled eggs, nobody's ever said these are not the best scrambled eggs. This is not the best utensil for this. Are you making excuses already? Yep, yep. These are actually a little overdone. Usually it's best with like toast and like some tomatoes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Scrambled eggs. Damn it. <laughs> How was last night for you? Oh God, that sounds like we just had sex. <laughs> Very funny way to ask it though. So tonight we're making chicken wings with the limes from Nick's tree, which is pretty cool. I think we can become friends. Like, I think we'll be friends after this. He's not like the type of person that I like find myself around all the time. I think I might get drunk tonight. I think it's a good idea to get drunk in your tiny house. This is like a nice, relaxing lifestyle of like, pick fruit from your garden, put it in the food that you make, eat it. It's like very rewarding. So like, I get it. I've never been more proud of anything in my life. I can't believe I got this to work. Really? When I said I would do this, I had no idea what I was doing. But it's working. Oh, look at these crisscross grill marks I got here. It's like Burger King. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. When I woke up this morning, I was like nervous about what we were gonna do all day. And we ended up filling it pretty well. Nikki and I went outside to read because we thought the sun was saying it would be nice to read. And we ended up just talking for like two hours. Garrett and I maybe first spoke to each other like three months ago. And like, here we are like telling each other like what our dreams for the future are for our lives. I got to FaceTime with her fiance. Hello. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. I'm like not always the best at like meeting new people in like this one-on-one -on -one setting. It's been really nice. Hey Garrett, mm -hmm. do 
you want to do a sheet mask? I've never done one before. Yay! <laughs> oh, it's so goopy. <laughs> yeah, it's a little small, but... <laughs> don't know about tiny house living. You just like, all of everything you're doing is like this. Cause you're like, there's either a person here or like a wall there or like stuff here. And that there's no privacy whatsoever. I don't know if I could actually live in this tiny house even by myself. It seems like a crazy non-starter. Oh shit. We didn't even have like our clothes here. Like if I had more than two days worth of clothes here, I have no idea where I would have put them. Nikki, what are you doing? We had this like box of like lights. And they were on the couch, but now I can't find them. Nikki, this house is a, it's like 180 square feet. I know, I don't know where it went. As like a permanent, long-term living situation, I just don't think it's for me. Morning. Morning. Coffee? Yeah, that'd be great. This tiny house surpassed some of my expectations and kind of fell short in others working was really inspirational. Like you have this unbelievable view. That said, because it was so small and cramped, I had to get out of here. Like I couldn't work on anything for more than an hour. It's been nice, but it's too small. To tiny house livers, good on you. I respect your lifestyle. Bye tiny house. Bye tiny house.